Hey guys and welcome back to another review. As earlier announced, I will be reviewing the Manka E05 in the second version. I got the cool white, it also exists in neutral white. 1300 lumens maximum output if you use it with a 14500 battery. 42.7 grams of weight, we'll have a look if that's with or without battery. Overall length 91 millimeters. It comes in a pretty normal cardboard boxing. We'll open it up and see what we get inside. So we have a USB-C charging cable for the 14500 battery. We've got a note to take away the battery protection before the first use. And we got the classical lanyard, a spare o-ring, that's always nice. And then we have the user manual, which will be in Chinese and in English. So it has a tritium slot, but I don't think they delivered tritium with it. I got some with the Striker Mini, but you have to glue them in with super glue or so, and I don't like to put glue on the on the light. So as I said, 91.3 millimeters length, tail diameter is 20 millimeters, and in the middle it's slightly uh, thinner, so 17 millimeters diameter. Then the weight, including the battery, is 63.8 grams. So in my eyes, they could easily put that on the outside of the box because no one needs to know the weight of a, bat a flashlight without a battery because you always carry the battery. Charging function of the battery is like we know it from them. So we take away battery protection. And then we have the... USB-C charging port and there is somewhere a small light that will light in red and once it's charged it will switch to green. 920 milliamps. Threads are running smoothly. I don't know if you can further disassemble it. We'll have a look but I don't think so. No. So we have a spring in the back. the brass button in the head. We have three modes and a special mode, so low 8 lumen, medium 300 lumen for 1 hour 30 minutes and then it will dim down to 8 lumen for 3 hours and 15 minutes, high 1300 lumen for 2 minutes and then it will dim down. That's with the Lion battery. If you want an AA battery, we have different outputs. So we have a lower low, that's always nice. Um, I will put all the modes in the description below the video so you can read them at your ease. Maximum peak beam intensity 5476 candela, beam distance 148 meters. Impact resistance to drops of height from 1.5 meters and waterproof according to IP68. So for the user interface, it's quite easy. You have the possibility to turn on the light with a single click. And then you can fast click through the different modes. You can, however, also select the mode you want by half pressing the button. And then fully press the button to lock the mode. If you don't use the light for more than two seconds, it will turn on in the last used mode, except strobe. If you want to access strobe, you have to two times half press. The switch quite fast and then it is locked in strobe. So two times half press. For the rest, the light is really nicely machined, threads run smooth, 
the LED is sitting behind an orange peel reflector, some nice knurling on the front bezel, and again, tritium slot, we have a deep clip that you can unscrew if you want. There's no indication about the LED that has been used, always a bit sad. I will now fully charge the battery, measure it in my Ulbricht ball, and then we will see each other outside for the beam shots. So guys, I'm outside with the Manka E05 in the second version, in the highest output mode with 1300 lumen. I measured about 1100 lumen. After two minutes it dims down to about 250 lumens. I have to say that I'm using it with a 14500 Lion battery. Didn't bring an analog. This is the lowest mode with 8 lumen, which I measured uh, 6 lumen. As you can see, you already have some nice beam distance with it and to search for a keyhole or so, it's plenty enough. And then we go to the 300 lumen mode, which I measured with 280 lumen, so also very nice. And then again the 1300 lumen mode, which is really bright for such a small light. I also measured the flashlight with an analog battery. I will uh, put the values underneath the video, will not bore you with all the numbers in this video. So as you can see, it's really nice compact EDC flashlight that you can use for walks in the dark as long as they don't need to be too long because the battery still will not provide enormous run times if you use it on the highest modes. So overall I'm really happy I got the chance to review a new Manka light again. I hope you liked the video. If any questions are left, please don't hesitate and put them in the comment section. And as always, I would really appreciate if you could follow me and leave a thumbs up at the end of the video. See you soon, guys. Bye bye.